Have you ever needed to coordinate the animation of a list of widgets, all behaving similarly? Maybe to build a custom floating action button menu? If so, try the Flow widget. To start, add a Flow widget to your app and give it a list of children. Then provide the delegate parameter with an implementation of the Flow delegate class, which implements Paint Children and Should Repaint. Paint Children tells Flutter where to draw each of Flow's children using the Flow Painting Context class's Paint Child method. This method takes two parameters, an integer, representing the index within the list of children, and a transform, representing any layout tweaks for that child. To place the first child in its default position, use context.paintchild, pass zero to indicate the first child, and use the identity matrix to indicate no transformation. To position the second child 50 pixels below the first, use context.paintchild again, but this time pass one as the index of the second child and use a translation matrix. So far, this feels like a stack that uses matrices instead of positioned widgets, but that's not where flow shines. To add some serious zest to your widgets, add an animation to your flow delegate. Now your paint children method is ready to get serious. Loop over your children and use their index alongside the animation's value to create your own custom effects. The nature of that animation is up to you, but your app is now ready for all sorts of creativity like sporting that original floating action button menu. Just don't forget to supply that animation in your widget tree. And lastly, implement the delegates should repaint method. Use this to tell Flutter, there's nothing to see here, when there is in fact no change. And just like that, your widgets can get in the zone and dart all over the screen. For more info on Flow and all the other widgets, head to flutter.dev.